Time. It is National Family Caregivers Month, and this morning we are sharing some important information. Award-winning author Janice Wilson Stridick is here to ask, is taking care of your mother killing you? Good morning. That's an interesting question to pose right off the bat, right? Yeah, well, it Some people it feel happens. like it probably I is. Think some people probably do feel that way. Well, Hillary Clinton and Alec Baldwin are only two of many celebrities who have found themselves caring for people in their family. Mm -hmm. And it's $450 billion a year worth of time that people spend caring for family members in this country. And it's bound to happen to us, or at least someone we know, right? Well, it's, you know, Family Caregiver Month is about gratitude, but it's also a wake-up call or a warning that this might happen to you. Mm -hmm. You may find yourself having to take care of a family member. And a lot of people are not prepared to do that. The no. question is, were you, uh, you know, caregivers in general, I mean, you think about this, you mentioned the time, the money. Are they at risk of ruining their health, their finances, because they're putting so much money into it? Some people worry about things like that. It's a great question. A study led by Johns Hopkins University showed that family caregivers actually live nine years longer on really? average. Really? It's so counterintuitive. Yeah. But it's still, you got to be warned, there are people who ruin their health, their yeah. finances in taking care of family. Yeah, so how does all that happen? Well, in order to thrive as a family caregiver, you really have to opt to thrive. And the O in this case stands for open up, tell others, bring the rest of your family in, don't try to do it alone. The P is to have a purpose or a project, something larger than just disease to think about. Mm -hmm. And the T is to take time for yourself, time to breathe, time to care for yourself, because as a caregiver you can't just care for the other. Right, right. So I want to do a little breathing exercise. Okay. I'm going to sit and put your feet on the floor. Okay. Sit straight up, put your shoulders back and lift okay. your head and put your palms on your belly. Okay. And as you breathe in, I want you to press your belly out. And then as you exhale, draw the navel back in. Exhale and let really the shoulders feel that. When you're go really down. Paying yeah. attention to that, you can feel yeah, kind so of the, the stress just kind of Get release. out of your body, right. So you need to yeah, do that. You have to. Y you yeah. also mentioned um, project. Project. Okay, how, how, does, how does that help and what do you mean by that? Well, in 1992, my mother roped me into a project with my grandmother. She, my grandmother was dying and she wanted me to do this book. And it ended up in this book, The View in Winter. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then I found it Southbound Press. So okay. that made it wonderful. And, and you, you've, you've also gotten, you know, received national acclaim at this point. So how did all this, how did this all come about? Well, because this is your stories that you know so well because of your mother. My mother was diagnosed four years later with stage four breast cancer oh, and I became her caregiver. Yes. And as we worked together, she was a painter, I'm a writer. It was a natural for us to do a catalog of her work and to think about the book. Yeah. We talked about it, but we, I couldn't do it until after she died. We're about out of time, so let people know what will they get from, from reading this book well, and looking the book at the pictures. And this idea is to focus Focus on your strengths. When you're caregiving, look at the art that's in it for you, for your loved one, and make the most of it. Just focus on the strengths. And where can people find it? And the it? book is very, I hope, inspirational. It's available from Southbound Press, okay. from Amazon.com, and from wonderful bookstores like the Tattered Cover and your yes, indie we've bookstores. We've got those great love, local bookstores as well. I love as well. indie bookstores. Janice, thanks so much Thank for being you. here and sharing your story. Appreciate well. it.